Hello, my name is Sally Gimmon, and I'm the owner of the TrustIsYou.com in a podcast called Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. On February 13th, I'm going to go live on Zoom at 4 p.m. East Coast time. Between now and then, I'm going to talk about some of my clients that are saving thousands of dollars on this, uh, with federal taxes. Most people have never heard of the Spendthrift Trust. It's my goal to teach this to as many U.S. business owners, U.S. 1099 income earners, and U.S. investors how they can save federal taxes year after year, generation after generation. The Spendthrift Trust is legal. It's copyrighted. It's in the IRS tax code, 643B. It's in the tax code. This is legal. Now, to give you a little bit of history, it comes from England way back when King Henry VIII, the famous king who chopped off his wives' heads, he started the Church of England. It's contract law that came to the colonies while we were still part of England. The law firm I work on behalf of inherited a trust that turned 350 years old in 2023 before we were a country. Our current tax code went into effect 110 years ago, February 1913, and the super rich families of that time, the Carnegies, the DuPonts, the Kennedys, and the Rockefellers made sure they can continue to save taxes. If they can do it, we can do it. This is why I'm doing these short vignettes. Let me share my screen. Oops, let me share my screen. Give me one second, I gotta get to the right place. I didn't have it lined up correctly, silly Sally. It's Saturday. I don't know about y'all, but I've got plans for today. So this is social media paying off. His wife uh, contacted me. Her husband is an insurance agent in Texas. He works from home, gets to take a bunch of deductibles, everything else. She does work full time uh, with $75,000 as a W-2 employee. I can't touch that W-2 income. So she's looking at um, their 2023 taxes, and these are the numbers we came up. They're filing married jointly. He's making $360,000 a year as an insurance agent. Congratulations to him. And we are going to bring their personal taxes down from 32% all the way down to 12%. Her $75,000 still will have to be paid on the 1041 tax return. When you have either the business trust or the beneficial trust, you're going to file a 1041 tax return. So it's no longer part of your personal taxes. So we've taken that out of their personal taxes and so because of the because of her still working, we're going to save them $88,560 in federal income taxes. That's more than most people making a salary in a year. Congratulations to the family. Now, when we take his $36,000 out and put it into the business spendthrift trust where he will save at least 90% in federal income taxes, I personally saved 92% on my 2022 taxes. Yay, Sally. Uh, most of my clients are saving between 90% to 95% in federal income taxes. And in 43 states there is, uh, where there's state income taxes and personal taxes, you will save that too. Texas does not have uh, personal taxes. So that $36,000 at 90%, we're going to save them $73,200. Add $88,560 plus $73,200. That makes $161.76, what, I can't even talk, $161,760 yearly savings. What if he starts uh, selling even more insurance? Now, with this $161,000 they're going to save, this is their money. They can pay off their mortgage. They can buy a bigger house. They can uh, pay off their car loans, buy a new car. They can go on a family vacation. They can hire a VA to help the husband sell more insurance. They can give to a charity. This is their money to do with what they want. This is as legal as legal can be. Now, this is the business trust. The business trust is for all U.S. business owners, U.S. 1099 income earners who will save at least 90% on their federal income taxes yearly, plus uh, in 43 states, save state income taxes and uh, personal taxes. I know. Uh, small business people are concerned about uh, changes in tax codes. Small business people are, don't know about the Corporate Transparency Act from the Treasury Department. But the, the Spendthrift Trust, either the Business Trust or the Beneficial Trust, the four ways it's going to save you. Listen up. Save you federal taxes year after year, generation after generation. Keep your information 100% private. Your LLC does not do this. It'll keep you from paying any judgments if you get sued. All lawsuits become frivolous because they only can sue the individual. I'm worth nothing, and that goes away. And number four, you won't have to do the uh, Treasury Department's Corporate Transparency Act 
that uh, uh, or, or get fined $10,000 or two years in jail. This is important. So this is the business trust. The beneficial trust is for all U.S. investors. I don't care what kind of investing you're doing. You're going to save the following five taxes year after year, generation after generation. You will no longer pay short-term or long-term capital gains when you sell something at a profit. Yay, Sally, I wholesale. Number two, you're not, uh, you'll no longer pay interest income taxes. Interest income taxes are for people who do uh, passive investing, people who do creative financing, seller financing when you're selling a business or when you are selling a house, people who do subject to real estate, people who do uh, uh, the BRRRR strategy. I do have 12 notes. I am the paper on the house. People pay me their mortgage. That's interest income. Besides, Forex investors, listen up. You get taxed twice, interest income and capital gains. I can help you save both those taxes with the Beneficial Spendthrift Trust. Third tax you're going to save with the Beneficial Spendthrift Trust, dividend income taxes. So if you're in the stock market, investing in the stock market, if you're a day trader, you're doing commodities trading or futures trading, if you are an options trader, listen up, you're getting charged 40% on profits for a year or less and 60% on profits for a year, or, uh, a year or more. I can save you those taxes, yes. Rental income, if you have short-term rental like vacation rentals, Airbnb, Verbo, or traveling nurses, or if you have five doors, 10 doors, 20 doors, multifamily, commercial property, yes, you can take depreciation, yes, you can take cost averaging, but you will still save cap, uh, you will still save rental income keep your information private, and most importantly, not pay any judgments if you get sued. What if that renter's dog gets out and bites the mailman? And the fifth tax, royalty taxes. So if you are an actor, an actress, an author, a songwriter, a musician, if you're in the NFT world, if you have mineral rights, if you have copyrighted laws like the trust, I don't pay royalty taxes selling the trust, yay Sally. Um, if you have uh, intellectual property, all of this is going to be saved with the Beneficial Trust. I'm going to go live on February 13th at, 3, at 4 p.m. East Coast time to do a new presentation. If you would like to set up an appointment with me because you can't make the 4 o'clock appointment on next Tuesday, please make a 30-minute tax breakthrough session with me just like this wife did where we're going to save them so much money in taxes. We're saving them so much money in taxes, she might quit her $75,000 job every single year. Her question to me is, I don't need this job because my, my husband has our uh, health insurance. I'm like, why are you still working? They have three young children. What a wonderful way to make new options for themselves. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful Saturday. Take care.